Despite ongoing community protests, a majority of the board has stood by its decision to not appoint Nichelle Hayes. The crowd got so upset last night, the board ended up having to finish in a private room. The library union president says while this may seem like a loss, it's a victory in how it's woken up voters. I think this is going to blow up in their faces. It's not closure, but it's somewhat the end of a chapter, the search for an Indy Library permanent CEO. In a surprise resolution reading, interim CEO Gregory Hill earned the permanent spot. Disgust, um, confusion, and, and really it was just a lot of sadness considering that you know, they are listening to the community that's showing out. Current board trustee Stephen Lane says ripping up the resolution was an act of protest. He believes this was the board's attempt to sweep away months of protest. People at the meeting were not aware that was going to happen. I think they were all caught off guard, and I think that's why you saw the reaction that you saw. Hill has been serving as interim CEO since December, shortly after Gabriel Morley declined the job offer. Although then interim CEO Nichelle Hayes was the remaining candidate, she didn't get the job. Hill served in the military for 20 years before coming to work for the library in 2011. And I've never seen a board so determined to keep power by just ignoring the community. Library Union President Michael Torres says this decision shows people in power working to stay in power, adding that Hill has primarily served in managerial roles. As far as front lines workers, I don't think he's had that much of a connection with them. And you know, we are the backbone. The library board president says Hill has demonstrated steady and sure leadership in every position he's held. And Hill in a statement said, the first step in that forward progress must begin with healing. My commitment is to be a leader who brings people together. Lane says he hopes to build bridges, but there's a wall dividing the board that'll first need to be knocked down. I did reach out to Nichelle Hayes for comment and she sent me a poem titled, Won't You Celebrate With Me? With the last lines reading, something has tried to kill me and has failed. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and like us on Facebook.